Good morning, students. This is Kedi sir. Let's continue with chapter number four, BA, standard twelve. Okay. Now our next topic is decentralization. पहले मैं ये समझा देता हूँ decentralization होता क्या है. पहले decentralization समझने के लिए centralization समझ लेते हैं. Centralization का मतलब है power to one person. एक ही person सब कुछ करेगा. कुछ भी हो एक जन को पूछेगा. बराबर उनको ही पूछना पड़े. जैसे अभी school है. School में देखो principal. Right? Principal अगर बोले कि नहीं आपको अगर एक चौक भी लेना है एक पेन भी लेना है तो कुछ से पूछ के करना है सेंट्रलाइजेशन। लेकिन अगर वही प्रिंसिपल्स टीचर्स को अपना पावर बांट दे बोले ठीक है टीचर अगर आपको ये है बरोबर इतना खर्चा करना है स्कूल के लिए स्टेशनरी लेना है तो आप अपने रिक्शे ले सकते हैं आपको मुझे पूछने की जरूरत है दिस इज कॉल्ड डेलीगेशन ऑफ अथॉरिटी पावर्स को डेलीगेट करना रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी के साथ पावर्स को डेलीगेट करना दिस इज कॉल्ड डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन अब ये डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन कहाँ काम आता है ये बताता हूँ सेंट्रलाइजेशन जहाँ छोटी ऑफिस है जहाँ एक पर्सन की जरूरत है जहाँ बहुत कम लोग काम करते हैं वहाँ पे सेंट्रलाइजेशन इट्स ओके करियाने की दुकान हो बरोबर या तो फिर कोई छोटी ऑफिस हो या तो कोई क्लासेस हो जिसमें सेंट्रलाइजेशन बरोबर है लेकिन जब आपके बहुत सारे ब्रांचेस हैं आपके ऑल ओवर इंडिया लेवल पे है नेशनल लेवल पे इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे तो देन इट इज बेटर You go for decentralization to become successful. Decentralization जरूरी है Okay? तो this is the thing. तो अभी ये decentralization देखिए अगर आप देखेंगे नीत अंबानी क्रिकेट मैच देख रही होती है बरबर लेकिन उनका जो रिलायंस है वो चलते रहता है हर जगह पे इंडिया के हर ब्रांचेस पे आराम से चल रहा है राइट दैट मीन्स उन्होंने पावर्स डेलीकेट कर दिया है डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन फॉलो किया है दैट्स वाई द बिजनेस इज गोइंग ऑन Okay, this is called decentralization. Let's start. When we study organization structure, the following points emerge. Some business units are such when authority centralized at top level only, and most of the decisions are taken by top level. In some business organization, the decision making is done by all the levels, and certain kind of decisions are taken as per the requirement of the work needed. In the first type of organization, all the power rests on the upper level. Only and so it is called centralized structure. क्या बोलते हैं उसको? Centralized. एक ही आर पी मतलब ऊपर वाला है खाली डिसाइड करेंगे. That is called centralized. But in the second type, all powers are distributed and all levels have specific powers and so called decentralization of authority. Let's consult. The thought of decentralization is very important from the point view point of authority and responsibility. The administrators have to themselves decide whether to have centralized or decentralized power in the organization. Small size organization can have centralized power, and the large size organization can have decentralized form. This can bring success to the organization. जो मैंने समझाया वही आ रहा है, right? Okay. Meaning, the delegation of power from upper to lower level is orderly manner. In order, orderly manner is known as decentralization of power. Now, definition. According to Henry Foyle, to assign powers to the superior to enable distribution of work and to include in decisions making process is called decentralization. पापस पढ़ रहा हूँ. Henry Foyle ने क्या बोला है? To assign powers to the superiors to enable distribution of work and to include in decision making process is called decentralization. In this way, the allotment of decision-making authority to the sphere of people who need to take decisions is called decentralization of power. It does not mean that all the powers are given by the upper-level administrator to the lower level, but most of the powers are given. Why? Because the work is necessary. Decision-making can be done. So we need to give power to take decision. That's the thing. That is called decentralization of power. Importance? What is it? The success of management depends on the proper distribution of authority and responsibilities. In centralization of power, the hierarchy, non-scientifically taken decisions, non-cooperation, lack of specialization, and more workload, etc., can be seen. Hence, the idea of decentralization is become popular in the modern times in the business unit. The decentralization of power is seen in majority of the cases. First number: quick decisions. In decentralization, the person who has taken the decision, the person who has taken the decision in that work or activity is involved completely and has the power to take decision, and hence the decisions are taken quickly and efficiently. 
Next is less workload on top level. The top level is the level where most of the policy matter related, right? If you have your powers decentralized, then the best thing is that free. Ho jate hai. Kaam chalte rega so that you can concentrate in the development of the company. You can concentrate on the other matters. That is the best thing of decentralization. Right? So with the help of decentralization of power, the decision taking authority is given to middle or lower level. Hence the workload on the upper level is reduced. Increased in motivation. Due to decentralization, the employees have increased level of motivation as they have more faith and trust. They are given independence on middle or lower level and when they see their decision becoming successful, their confidence boosts. They also get the experience on how to take such kind of decision in such kind of situation. You are actually by, by doing decentralization, by giving authority, by giving powers, you are boosting your employee, you are encouraging him, you are making him more enthusiastic towards the work. This is how decentralization works. Okay, next. Increase in management abilities. In decentralized, the middle and lower level employees take decision as per their power and they are given independence for the same. Hence, they become efficient leaders. They develop skills to work in coordinated manner. They develop able administrative skills and learn to administrative control. Hence, the employees take decision in different circumstances and they increase their abilities. In this way, the future manager emerges, right? You are just giving a practice. You are just giving a training to your assistant level employee so that tomorrow they can become the manager or the higher authority. Effective control. The managers of all the levels have enough power and so they can exercise control on the levels in which employees commit mistake. They can take disciplinary action which becomes easy for them and hence an effective control is maintained. Now, harmony is created due to decentralization at all the level employees are included in the decision making process and they are also given due importance. All the levels of officers and employees that is the decision makers and the followers, they discuss things and then take proper decision. In this process, one group comes in contact with the other group. Barabar, one group contact, comes in contact with the other group. In this way, the environment of harmony is created. Smooth relationships take place. Right? Coordination, cooperation, ye jo hai, ye hota hai decentralization. Se. Next, limitation. Ab jahan sab kuch hota hai, wakko, kuch na kuch to disadvantages ya limitation ho gai. Let's see what is the limitation of decentralization. The place where the organization is running on a very small scale and the business secrets are to be maintained with great vigilance. In this case, decentralization cannot be accepted. Yes, this is the major minus point or limitation of this. Secrets are not maintained because decentralization may kya hota hai? You have to tell, you have to give authority, you have to give power, you have to uh, include them in the top decision taking places. Right, so here secret jo hai maintain rene ka chances kam hai. Sometimes due to common policy not implemented or coordination not maintained properly, decentralization is not successful. This is another point, right? If it is the policy is not implemented or coordination is not maintained, then also the decentralization is unsuccessful. Okay, so students, our decentralization topic is over. I hope you understood. दो तीन बार सुनिए देखिए मैं इसलिए इसको आर्टिकल वाइज बनाता हूँ इसका प्लेलिस्ट बना दूंगा सो देट आप पूरा चैप्टर एक एक पॉइंट एक एक आर्टिकल वाइज आप देख सकते हैं सो देट आपको क्लियर रहेगा होल चैप्टर की जगह पे ओके आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड जस्ट कीप ऑन लिसनिंग टू इट कीप ऑन वॉचिंग ओके और अगर आपको पसंद आए तो प्लीज शेयर और लाइक और सब्सक्राइब करो सो देट मोर नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स कैन बी रीच आउट ओके बाय है नाइस डे थैंक यू